Welcome. Today we're going to look at how you get links directly from Zotero into Obsidian. I've done this before when I was on DevonThink and I had a shortcut set up for it and it worked really well uh, after I you know, got it working because shortcuts are a pain in the butt sometimes. But there's no shortcut really integration for Zotero and I want it to work cross-platform because I am also on Linux now as well on Fedora 38 exactly on my framework laptop. So let's dig into how we can have like a local link to a local file in Zotero from Obsidian. So the plug we're going to use is called uh, Zotero Link right here. And it first actually requires two things. It requires a Zot server and Zotero Bridge plugins installed. So a Zot server is actually, we'll open this up here. It is a local HTTP server with an API so that Zotero or so other applications can communicate with Zotero. You don't really need to know anything about that. What it does is it allows every other applications to communicate with Zotero. That's all you need to know. To download it, you go to releases and you'll download a Zot server API. So this is gonna download fine on Safari. It's gonna download fine on Chrome. If you're on Firefox, the XPI extension is the same thing that Firefox uses for extensions. So you need to right click and download linked file as, or download linked file and download it to wherever your downloads are. Then you go over to Zotero and I have it here. So we go from tools, add-ons, and you can see I have it installed already, Zot server. But I would go to the gear icon, add uh, from file, and I would just browse to it, select it, and install it. And that's what you need to do to have Zot server installed. And the Zotero bridge is an Obsidian plugin. So let's go over to Obsidian, and we'll come back to that. Our community plugins, and to install a plugin, we'll go browse. If you don't see like browse and everything, there's a turn on, turn off button here that turns on extensions for you. So We'll go to browse and we search. So Tarot Bridge is the first one, right? We click on this and install it. I already have it installed. And then finally, we're actually ready to install Zotero Link. And so then we again click on install and everything here. You don't see that here, install and enable because I already have it installed and enabled. And then once you've done all of that, what this plugin lets you do is let's grab an article, let's say this one, AI machines aren't hallucinating, but their makers are. So I'm gonna grab the title and come back over to Obsidian. I'm gonna open up a new one, open their makers are, cause I don't have that yet. And then I'm going to add my YAML. So I'm gonna see my standard YAML. And now I'm gonna do Zotero server. So Zot, if I search that Zot, Zot it'll go Zotero link and I can search AI we see it here. Are we going to see the issue a little bit? It's AI machines. So there you go. We got AI machines. So now you see, this is one issue with it. The search is only okay because I have snapshot coming up first, which is actually the snapshot of some page. And I don't know the title of the snapshot because it's not telling me what it is or full text. That is the full text of some web page as well. So it doesn't actually give me anything. I'd love to see when I searched AI machines, AI machines should be the top result clearly. So hit enter when I selected it though. And now I have my link to it. Now what I usually do, just because this is how my old stuff is, I go Zotero. There we go. And now I have a link directly to it. So I can actually use this to navigate directly to that file in my Zotero library for when I read this. Now something else I do here is I'm gonna go copy, copy Obsidian URL, and I'm gonna paste it back into here as well. So under my notes, I'm going to add a note there. You can add it as a note there. You can also add it. Uh, see, the interface is slightly different between Linux and everything here as well. Um, yeah, we'll just leave it there where it is for now as a note. And then I can also say the URL. This is the URL for it. I can bring in the URL right there. So now I have the actual URL online as well. Uh, I wouldn't worry about title and author so much now. And that's really it. That's what the plugin does. It allows you to interface with Zotero so that you can grab a link directly to your local copy of the document. This link will work on Linux so that you can navigate directly to your local copy of the document. And then it just makes it easier to find. There are other applications like Hookmark that allow this to work as well. Now Hookmark actually, um, or Hook actually works with um, Apple only. So you're out of luck on the um, front with Linux. You just can't use it there. So that's why I like having a direct note instead. That's it. If you like the video, thumbs up below. If you love it, subscribe, hit the bell. 
YouTube will let you know something happened. But honestly, keep it. Uh, don't hit the bell. Don't You don't want to do it. Go hang out with your kids, read a book, something like that. Better ways to support the channel. Become a member. CurtisMcHale.ca slash membership or take a course. CurtisMcHale.ca slash education. Members get all my courses included. And you can also take my courses on Skillshare. Links to those below. Have an awesome day.